Hi guys. So I got some new diapers to try from Foresight. So um, Foresight is a company that is in Canada and they've been around for a very long time. And I've, I've seen them online for years, but I've never been able to try them because they wouldn't ship to the United States. So um, they are actually being sold by North Shore now. So North Shore is going to be distributing them uh, in the United States, uh, which is really great. So um, they look like they're very good diapers. I've heard good things about them. So this will probably um, be a really good thing for their company that they'll actually, uh, you know, sell them in the United States now. I mean, I'm, that's a huge, huge market, right? So, um, you'll pro you guys will probably see a lot more of these diapers. Um, and they are available now through North Shore. So anyway, um, I've always looked at these diapers and, um, they look like they're like perfect because perfect for me anyway, because of the absorbency level. So you can see these are uh, just under 5,000 milliliters. So for the mediums, they're, you know, 4980 for these, 4615, 4980, 4615. So that's like right in the sweet spot for me. That's right where like uh, Abina M4s are. I think that's probably about where Mega Max is. Bambinos, like that's like the sweet spot, right? Where it's, it's like really, really good for heavy, very heavy incontinence, but it's not crazy, crazy high, like AB Universe or Rears or Tykables, where they just are just way too thick, right? They're right in that sweet spot between like 4,500 and 5,000 milliliters. This is like where I like to have my um adult diapers capacity wise and um another thing that i really like so this is a medical brand and so they do have uh printed adult diapers that are non-babyish and that's what i've always really liked about north shore so the north shore mega max you, know, you can get the tie-dye ones you can get like the navy blue ones. Um, they're supreme diapers. You can get polka dots. So you can get some prints that are non babyish. So I really like that uh, for like wearing to work um, or out and about, you know, doing whatever. Because if so, I'm a firm believer that if you have a printed diaper, it looks less like a diaper than all white, but I don't want the babyish themes sticking out of my pants, you know, if I bend over or reach up real high or something at work or whatever, right? So I really like printed adult diapers that are non-babyish prints. They might just look like some quirky underwear that you might have on, like some boxers or whatever. So um, you can see this one is the under the sea one. Um, and it might be considered like kind of childish, but not too bad, you know, it's got like some, yeah, I guess it's kind of babyish. But uh, you also have the Mary Jane ones, which has the marijuana leaf, which, you know, I know that's something that's really big, popular in Canada, smoking marijuana. Um, I do not smoke marijuana, even though it is legal in my state. Um, but, you know, if that's your thing, go for it. But I'll wear the diapers. Um, so we have the stripes, so they're gray and white striped diapers. Um, and then we have stars. So they're like a lavender color, like a light purple with stars. So these are all prints that are not babyish that, um, I really like. So, um, whenever I've seen these diapers online, um, to me, they look like they're really similar to a Bambino adult diaper. And I, I have not opened any of these, so I haven't gotten my hands on them yet. I have not worn them yet. So I'm not sure if they're like a Bambino or not, but I'm suspecting that they're similar to a Bambino. And the main reason for that is this capacity rating. But um, I 
always take these capacity ratings with a grain of salt. Um, sometimes like the testing isn't necessarily standardized. So what they call uh, 4,600 or 4,900 might not be what other brands consider that absorbency. You know what I mean? So we're going to take this out. We're going to take one of these diapers out and we're going to take a look at it and we're going to compare it to a Bambino. So this is a Bambino um, Classico V2. And I think this one's like, like around the same, uh, maybe a little bit less than 4980. I think this is like, maybe like, a, this is probably closer to like a 46, um, 46 milliliters, 4,600 I mean. So we're gonna take a look at um, one of these diapers and see how they compare to a Bambino. See if my suspicions, uh, which, you know, I'm just going off of pictures that I've seen on the internet, right? So we're going to open up this pack of uh, Foresight under the C adult diapers. And we're going to see if they are the same as Bandina. Can find a good way to open this without completely destroying the package. So, looks like the width is about the same, length is the same. These look remarkably similar to a Bambino. Um, so one thing that I notice is they do look about the same thickness, although you can feel this one feels a little bit heavier than this one which I do expect because I do believe this one's rated for heavier capacity. I'm not prepared with the actual official capacity ratings of these diapers, but if I remember correctly, they're like 4,500 or so. So let's take a look. These definitely feel, these definitely feel thick. These definitely feel like thick diapers. Plastic feels nice and sturdy. They feel nice and soft on the inside. So far, these feel like really nice diapers. And yeah, these are the thicker ones. So they do have some that are less thick. Which should probably be, you know, closer to this one. So let's do a little comparison here. Ooh, so one thing I notice, so, um, the Bambinos, they don't have an acquisition zone, but look at that. These have an acquisition zone. So me personally, I'm a big fan of acquisition zones. They help the diaper absorb quickly, and evenly, which, um, that might not be a factor that's as important to you as it is to me. Um, I have, whenever I, um, whenever I, you know, empty my bladder, it, it empties like all at once, a large amount really fast. So an acquisition zone is really important to me. As you can see, side by side. Um, it looks like the uh, coverage in the front is the same. Looks like the coverage in the back is about the same, like where the, where the padding goes, right? The tapes look about the same. Let's compare. Yeah, it looks like the same tapes. Let's see. The plastic feels the same. So, yeah. I would say that um, my suspicions are 
pretty close. These, these seem like they are very similar to Bambino diapers. Very, very similar to Bambino diapers. But they have an acquisition zone. So very cool. Um, I think these will work out really, really well for me. Um, Bambinos are one of my favorite adult diapers. Um, mainly because they are not so crazy thick, right? They're, they're diapers that I can wear to work. And um, these are even better for wearing to work for two reasons. They have non-babyish prints and they have an acquisition zone. So I think these kind of one-up the um, Bambinos. They're a little bit better than the Bambinos. So that's great. So, um, I'm wondering where these are produced, where they're made, and it probably says on here, okay, so it's, it says imported, so it says imported uh, by Age Comfort Incorporated, Ontario, Canada. So they're imported to Canada, um, so they're probably Chinese, they're probably from China, uh, that's where most adult diapers are from, they're mostly from China. So. There's a very good chance, guys, that these Foresight Adult Diapers, there's a very good chance they're made on the same machine as the Bambinos, some big adult diaper company factory in China. That is pretty likely, um, which is fine. So, let's see here. It's all clear, so there's nothing on the side here. You'd think if it was made in China, it'd say made in China on it somewhere, but all it has is this clear, clear packaging with this big sticker. I don't see anything about where it's imported from, but, um, you know, we could probably find that online somewhere. But, um, it does have some French on there. I think that's from Canada. So anyway, um, <clears throat> we've got Under the Sea. The Stripes, the Mary Janes, and the Stars. So, um, I will do a more in-depth review of these diapers soon. Um, I just wanted to show you what I got, do a quick comparison to the Bambinos. So, um, I'm going to try out all these diapers, and I'll let you know what I think in uh, some future videos. Uh, but, yeah. I've been getting some really good diapers lately. These, the um, the Made in America Mega Max. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Made in America Mega Max. So, um, yeah. Got some diapers to review for, your, for you guys. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you do want to see how these diapers look and fit, I will be making videos like that, but they'll go on my other channel, my ABDL, ABDL Life channel, ABDL IFE. I'll link that in the description, but um, that's going to go on my other channel because I'm trying to get this channel monetized. Um, it's been demonetized for a long time now. And um, yeah, I really like having that extra hundred, couple hundred a month to buy these diapers. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to be buying diapers every month either way because I am a continent, but, um, yeah, it's, you know, these cost a little bit extra, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need these fancy diapers. I just like to review them, and I like to share my information with you guys, so, you know, that's coming out of my pocket, unfortunately, but, um, if you do want to support me, I do have a Just for Fans that I do make a little bit of money on with diaper-related stuff. But, um, yeah, other than that, you know, it's just, I'm in America, so my insurance sucks. My insurance doesn't pay for these. These, I have to work for them, you know what I mean? But, um, that's a, that's a whole other topic, guys. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.